Hey there folks, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to another awesome day here off the Stony Ridge Farm. We are in Worthington, Indiana. There's a lot of beeps, a lot of noises, a lot of banging, and we are at the Farm Fence Solutions Fall Fence Forum. Try to say that three times in a row. So we're getting ready to build a section of fence. This is day one. This is all about education. It's all about teaching these folks how to build the best quality fence. Uh, it's all about agricultural fence here and a little bit of residential. So come along today as we learn a little bit, have a little bit of fun, and we'll show you guys what the awesome Fall Fence Forum is like here in Worthington, Indiana at Farm Fence Solutions. If this is your first time watching the channel, welcome to the Stony Ridge Farm channel. All around us at home is a 150 acre first generation farm. And we started putting up fence a few years ago. And as we started doing that, we started working with my friend Luke at Farm Fence Solutions. And that has taken me places that I never thought I'd be. So we actually toured the Tornado Wire factory and all the wire we're gonna be using in today's video is called Tornado Wire. There's all sorts of fun stuff going on from strain right, Protec machinery, Tornado Wire and Farm Fence Solutions, and American Timber and steel. If I'm missing anybody, I'll post it down there. Guys, what we're going to be doing is learning about fencing today, and it's going to be pretty fun. I'm Robert Littrell with Sticks Fencing. Uh, today we're gonna to be teaching you how to do uh, Kentucky four board fencing uh, using Kentucky or American timber and steel post and poplar boards. <laughs> Guys, this is Justin Neri with Taylor Fence. What are you doing, Justin? I'm routering the top of the post. Hey. He's rounding off the ends of the post because when the post driver hits a post, if it's a little bit dry, sometimes it can splinter out to the side but just routing off this end right here will prevent splitting in a lot of cases. I'm Ryan Sloop from Sloop Fence in Mount Island, North Carolina, here at the Fall Fence Forum. I got 500 of them up there. I, I bought want, all of them. I don't want to talk about <laughs> uh, Guys, while these folks <laughs> are building the fence, we're going to let them work. We're going to get out of their way, and we put some cameras on time lapse on some of the machines. We're going to go over and visit some of the tool companies that are here at the Farm Fence Forum. We got the folks from Wood Defender out here, and we're getting ready to do a demo on this board fence right here. And this is a dog-eared privacy fence. We're going to take this from zero to hero with Wood Defender. All of our products are a one-coat application. No back brushing, no rolling. You simply put it on the point of saturation, you walk away, it's all going to self-level. Having a wand with adjustable head is very important. It allows you to let the wand work for you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the tip down and I'm going to cut in at the top of the fence. And if you'll notice by me doing that, what I'm doing is I'm keeping my overspray down. It is a little breezy day, so it's going to carry the stain. But then I'm going to take the tip and I'm going to straighten it out and I'm just going to fill in the gaps.
Now that's wood defender. So we told you we're gonna come over to the tool department here. This is Stockade, and I have Andy with me from Stockade. This is a fence stapler, is that right? This is your flagship model? Yes, sir, cordless powered fence stapling. Okay, tell me about it real quick, what you got? So this is SC400i, which is our premium kind of flagship tool. So fully cordless, powered, you don't have any hoses. Uh, it does run on fuel cells and a battery, but any environment, anywhere you're at, uh, you know, just needing to, to, if you still are using hand hammered staples, uh, there's still a lot of those, you know, just buckets of staples. Uh, it's so much easier, Drive it'll drive a staple, um, and just in terms of efficiency with, you know, if you, if you are a fence contractor, I mean, that's why we're here is, this is a contractor grade tool. It's premium quality. It's going to last. Uh, we've got tools in the market. We, we actually, we, so this product's also sold in New Zealand where they do a ton of fencing. There was a guy in New Zealand had over 225,000 shots. And this has a computer a in it, is that right? Gun. It does. It's got a okay. chip in it. So we're doing, that's part of what we're doing here this week is getting a reading on how many shots you've got. Uh, we're cleaning tools. You know, it's a, it's a it's a piece of equipment. You got to maintain it. Gotcha. You got to clean it, but it'll last you for your career and cool. and do the job over a long period of time. Nice. So this is a lifetime purchase type piece of equipment. Yeah, it really is. I mean, yeah. and and so when you've got, you know, you've got employees who, you know, it's wear and tear on your body. It's, it's it's hard to find labor right now. And if you can put a tool in their hands that makes them more efficient, it makes it easier to do the job rather than having to swing a hammer all day. Mm -hmm. um, it certainly makes you a lot more efficient. Now, is this electric or gas or both? So both, so it does run on a battery, but uh, but the primary power is coming from a fuel cell. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. So, now, this, when you use this, you're pretty much required to have eye protection and hearing protection because it does have a quite a pow to it, right? It does, so it goes, it's loud, it goes bang, and, and, and safety is really kind of a core value for us, our parent company, ITW, Pazload is a, a product a lot of people are familiar with, also fuel cell nail guns, um, and, and just, we always just encourage and kind of require, like here, make sure you're using eye protection, make sure you're using ear protection, and take care of yourself. Nice, and this is the ST400i yes, right sir. there from, from I was trying, I almost said Pazload, <laughs> from Stockade. Yep. Awesome, awesome, guys. We're going to do a total dedicated Tool Tuesday video to the Stockade gun and all these Stockade products that they have out here. So there's hog ring pliers, manual hog ring pliers, pneumatic hog ring pliers, uh, all kinds of cool tools. I don't want to spoil it all for you, but lots of stuff to come. We are back here with American Timber and Steel. I've got... Bill Kaminsky. And? Paul Cannon. And you guys are from Ohio, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. And this wood, is this lumber is processed in Nacogdoches, Texas? Yes, sir. Is that correct? That okay. Right. All right. So I've been down there. You guys are going to get some clips right now of building the fence and the tour, how fence posts are made. So without American Timber and Steel, we couldn't have accomplished that. These guys are huge sponsors right here, and all the wood posts that are being driven today on the uh, at the Farm Fence Forum today, tomorrow, and the next day are all American timber and steel, right? That's correct. So if you guys drive down the road and you see guardrail, odds are it's American timber and steel. Is that right? We do. It's where we started as a company, 1983, making guardrail posts. Nice. We still do. Make farm fence posts too. Yeah. Lots of them. Nice. <laughs> Very nice. So, Thank you. American timber and steel. Let's go see what the fencing is looking like. So guys, what you're seeing here is the Evo 220B, and this is a fence stretcher right here on the front of it. So we're pulling this wire tight. What kind of wire is this, Luke? That's 1348-4 Taurus from Tornado. Gotcha, 1348-4. 
So that means 13 line wires, four inch spacing, and this is the Taurus knot right here. It's a specific type of knot. Johnson fence or Big Johnson fence? Oh, this is Jackson fence. Jackson fence? All right. Fire it up. Well guys, it has been a fun day. They're getting things all wrapped up right here. Just getting this last piece of wire tied up. They built the Kentucky four-board fence that you saw right there. This has been day one at the Fence Forum and it has been a blast. Educational for a lot of folks. The guys from the UK really have done a lot of teaching out here. So if you wanna come and learn about farm fencing or if you just wanna have some fun, come on back to the Stony Ridge channel or come on out here to Farm Fence Solutions to the Fall Fence Forum next year in 2023. Guys, thanks a lot for joining me today. Stay tuned. The next video is going to be the fencing competition. Awesome. See ya. Come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life here and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be, Stony Ridge. Woo! <laughs> Do I? <laughs> oh, yeah, all right. That's right. Guys, this is Justin Nary with Nary Fence. Taylor Fence. All right. I'm shut up now. <laughs> Blooper! Huh? Huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be in the blooper, yeah. Tired. Ready for a nap. He's tired. <laughs>